Okay, so while kind of messing with Skyrim and perusing through its files, I found a way to replace the main menu wallpaper that I like better than the current method, which is like having a 3D object and then putting a texture on the 3D object. Uh, because that's essentially basically every single main menu wallpaper mod you'll see. Uh, the reason I really just don't like that is because the uh, 3D model and texture are affected by the game's lighting engine. So uh, it will change the way the image looks. Uh, even if it's kind of mild and not very noticeable, it still does bug me a bit. So I like this method better. What this method is, is basically just embedding the image file that you want as your wallpaper inside the uh, start menu.swf for Skyrim. Now this works for both Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition, so you don't really need to worry about which one you're doing it for. <laughs> uh, the one trade-off you're going to make is that the image has to be 720 pretty much. Uh, then again, even if you have a 4K image using the current method as like a texture, uh, it is subject to some degradation anyway, so I think Having a 720 image displayed the way it's supposed to be, not affected by a lighting engine, not on a 3D object as a texture, I actually like it this way much better. Um, the image format, I have luck with uh, bitmap. It's supposed to accept JPEG, but sometimes it's a little weird. And this will, because it's part of the menu essentially, it will overlay the 3D logo and the kind of fog particles that Skyrim has. Now, um, there's a way to go ahead and essentially remove the 3D logo and the fog particles, but I'm going to go over that in another video just because I don't really want to muddy this one up. So, what you'll need is JPEG's Free Flash Decompiler, you'll need Bay Bethesda Archive Extractor, and your image here, which is a 1280 by 720 image in .bmp format. So, I first want to go ahead and get start menu.swf out of Skyrim's interface archive. So I open up Bay here and I just, oops, I click platforms. There we go. Go to file, open file, and then I'm going to find Skyrim's data folder. Uh, this is it. I'm using special edition by the way. Uh, where is it? It's right here. So I double click this and then I'm going to uncheck it because I don't want to extract everything. I just want to extract from interface start menu.swf. Make sure it's start menu, not stats menu. Then click extract. I'll go ahead and extract it to the desktop. Yeah, select folder and I'm good. And go ahead and exit out of the bay folder. And here is what it just extracted. So I'm going to move this over here. Now I want to go ahead and open up JPEG's free flash decompiler and click open and find that start menu.swf click open again it's going to prompt you here the swf file uses assets from an input yada yada make sure you check no to all if you check yes it will say it can't find it and it'll ask you to define one of your own and then if you do and you import that and then you save the SWF file, it will essentially corrupt all of your fonts. So you'll be typing boxes or be looking at boxes where font should be. So with the SWF file open here, you just click shapes. And then if I expand this, I have all these here, the defined shapes, but on shapes right here on the folder, I'm going to right click add tag, define shape tag, go over to define shape. Now, um, if you're using if you're doing this for the original Skyrim, the numbers here will change. So the 140, the 108, and so on. But it does not matter, so you don't need to worry about it. Now, for the new defined shape, you'll notice anything that actually changes and is not saved is in bold. For the new defined shape, 140, I'm going to right-click it, click Replace Update Bounds. And I'm going to use my image file here. And it sometimes, yeah, there it previews. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't for reasons. And you can see it added an image folder and it added the image to the image folder. But I want to find sprites now and I want to expand that. Um, right click on the sprites folder, add tag, define sprite tag, then define sprite 142 will be here again. The number is going to be different if you're working with the original Skyrim, it's not a big deal. Right click define sprite, click add tag, place object to tag. Then expand that, you'll have frame one here, expand frame one. 
and see here it's place object two. It has all this here. You want to now just take note. Just make sure you remember that the defined shape you just added is one four zero. So I'm going to click back onto the defined sprite one forty two under frame one under place object two. Click edit on this box here. Change the depth to one. Check place flag has character. It's false now. If you check it, it'll be true. You just click outside after you're done checking it. Make sure it's true. Change the character ID to 140. Click outside of the box here. Make sure you click save down here before you save the file. Uh, if you don't, it usually just crashes on me or at least freezes, it locks up. So just a note, I'm gonna go ahead and collapse the sprites tab now and expand frames. Expand frame one, do not add a new frame. Uh, right click on frame one, add tag, place object two tag. Then under place object two, um, now you want to go ahead and take note of the number next to your defined sprite, which is 142. And again, the number will be different for the original Skyrim. And under the place object 2 here that I just added under frame 1 of frames, click edit, change the depth again to 1, place flag has character, make sure that's checked and true, change the character ID to 142. Click save, click save. All right, after I've saved that and exited out of JPEX here, I go to the interface folder and I have the start menu.swf we were just editing, but I'm gonna copy the interface folder itself to Skyrim to data. I already have an interface folder here, ignore that. Let's paste it here. And if you do have an interface folder, just merge it if it asks you to. And you can here have start menu. Uh, you can treat it like a mod and you can archive it and whatnot if you like to it's up to you right now just for the purposes of the video I'm just going to paste it in here like I just did so if I load up Skyrim special edition click play uh, you'll notice that the uh, menu takes a while to even load up it does that from its vanilla state I don't know if anybody else has that problem uh, could be because I have it on the hard drive I have no idea but yeah it has this loading icon even when I first installed the game and it is pretty irritating I have had SkyUI installed for a very long time but uh, that doesn't really affect it it's just Skyrim and as you can see here this is the image file if you notice it looks a little weird that's because I just added a bunch of filters for the hell of it but you can notice that uh, probably saw that the 3d object the logo over here was visible until the menu loaded up but I have everything else from the menu and it works just fine. All right, so that's pretty much it. Sorry for the keyboard clicking, I have the mic right next to it. I will make a video, like I said, on how to get that uh, logo out of the way. However, um, if you don't wanna watch that video, if you can't be bothered, all you really have to do is replace its textures with uh, transparent ones and it's that easy. Alright, thanks for watching.